morning guys guess where I am this is actually my first flight of the year and this is an exciting trip I'm here with the girls we got Ashney we got Keelan and we got Kelsey we are heading to Jordan for the next week which is so exciting it's a destination that's been on my list for a while and I didn't think I'd be going so soon but it's come around and we are heading there for the next week it's gonna be so sick guys we have a full itinerary planned can't wait to show you everything that we're up to we've got our flight coming up in the next how long like 30 minutes yeah I am gonna show you everything that we get up to whilst we're in Jordan I honestly cannot wait for this it's gonna be amazing like Jordan has one of the wonders of the world I can't wait to show you that and us lot as a group is always gonna be a bit crazy so yeah can't wait to show you what we get up to how I'm crying <laughs> Wait. You know, we only do luxe flights around here, babe. This is business class, easy jet. <laughs> 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 How am I going to be a serious vlogger with these two either side of me? Literally. What are you? Kelsey and. No, Keelan and Kelsey. 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 Um, we've been on the flight for about two, four hours, four and a half hours. We're going to be landing about 20 minutes. First time in Jordan, buzzing. Looks very deserty out the window. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is go meet our yeah, guide. Life. Gonna live life, live our life. gonna meet our guide and then go to a hotel, check in, freshen up. Right, I'm gonna sign out of this. Speak to you when we're in Jordan. guys we have made it to Jordan we just landed in Aqaba Airport it took about 20 minutes for us to drive down to the city and we're at our hotel we're staying at the Moven Pick everything went really seamlessly we just had to get our bags checked when we got to the airport because for certain cameras and things like that you need permissions which we got because we're actually here with the Jordan Tourism Board for the week which is why we've got lots of things already organized for us we've got an amazing itinerary set out and this is our first view I don't know if you can see that sunset properly but the sky is pink right now we've got a cheeky little welcome mocktail which is delicious by the way we've all just got our room keys so we're gonna check in and I'm gonna show you what the room is like and tonight we've, we're meeting the guide again at 8 o'clock we're gonna go for dinner and I think it's a seafood menu I'm excited for the week come in this is how you see the room we've got like kettle coffee tea all of that stuff and i'm guessing we've got a little mini fridge down here yeah this was a nice little platter that the hotel have set up for us like how cute it's so nice because we've got all the fruits and stuff on this side and then all the naughty treats on this side oh they've got sesame snaps they've also given us like hand sanitizer, masks, all of that stuff, which is always nice. And I saw this on the bed as well, which is basically saying that everything has been cleaned and sanitized, which is always like reassuring. And this is the big double bed and this cute little decoration piece that they've done with the towels. That's so sweet. And this is the balcony that overlooks one of the pools. That's the city over there. And then, We've got a view of the sea, which is lovely. Oh, let me show you the bathroom. And then this is the bathroom. I've got these nice little slippers, towels, everything you could possibly need. This might come in handy if my electric toothbrush dies. Pretty standard shower and toilet bidet situation. Man, I'm so happy with this. First night in Jordan. Loving it. I feel like all I'm going to do this trip is laugh because these girls are on something I do not know what. We've just come out for dinner. We're at Captain's Restaurant. It's our first dinner of the trip. Kels is absolutely buzzing. I can be buzzing because we're going to have seafood platter. We've got a special drink coming, which I think only Keelan has had before. It's like a mint. Lemon, mint, like water thing. Sounds good to me. So this is kind of like a tatsy. Baba ganoush, some salad thing, Turkish salad. and Turkish salad. Ooh, we got this special refreshing drink, which is a speciality in Jordan, and I think it's what mint, mint and lemon, and lime and lemon. And it's a vibe. Ooh, it's refreshing. It tastes like a mojito. 
Yeah, it tastes like a really limey mixed toe. Yeah. Dinner is served. Wow. We've got seafood, platter, that's fresh calamari. We have come down to breakfast in the hotel. I'm going to show you what it's like because the buffet looks pretty good here. We've got a table outside which is really nice and this is the buffet. Oh my god, it looks like they've got loads. Nah, I'm gonna enjoy today, you know. Blueberry Danish. This is a big vibe. So basically, I got an omelette made. Um, it's got mushrooms and cheese and peppers in it, and it's absolutely delicious. I'm so happy that I did that. With some hummus on the side. And this is what it looks like out here. One thing we've definitely noticed walking around is that Aqaba it has quite a lot of different people here. You can definitely tell that there are quite a few different nationalities and people that come to work here. And we just asked the guide, um, Mohammed, and he told us that there are quite a lot of Egyptian workers that come to live and work in Aqaba um, and quite a lot of other types of people too, maybe from Saudi and things like that. So it's a proper melting pot of different different people. And it's cool to walk around and see it. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite things to do um, is walk around on foot and kind of get a real feel for the city that I'm in because when you're driving around, you can't hear and smell and talk to people. journey later and we are in Wadi Rum. Right now we're actually right at the entrance and this big rock behind me is the seven pillars of wisdom and now we're heading into the desert. I actually can't believe this like I've never seen landscapes quite like this. Like, I've been to Egypt, been to Morocco but these rock formations are crazy. We came in in our van, but then we've got to get in another truck that will take us into the desert. Apparently that's a bit like crazy, like dust everywhere. So we've got to like protect our eyes and our bags and stuff. And then we're checking in. No, I think we're going for lunch first at one of the camps. And then we're going to be checking into our camp, which is going to be so sick. And I cannot wait to show you it. Welcome to Wadi Rum. I hope I'm going to be alright without a scarf on. We've got Keelan doing rich auntie vibes over <laughs> here in her headscarf. I think the girls are getting all wrapped up. And this is literally it. It's completely like open back Toyota Jeep. Making our way to the camp. Auntie number one, auntie <laughs> number two, auntie number three. We're just pulling up to our new accommodation for the night. This is Aisha Memories Luxury Camp with these famous bubble camps which you may have seen before. Hopefully we're staying in one of those tonight and we'll be sleeping under the stars in the desert. So we've just got to Aisha Memories Camp and there's a bit of a sandstorm outside so we've come to the little coffee shop that's actually on the property. It's literally a coffee shop slash cafe shisha bar that's like carved into the rock so all of the kind of formations you can see outside this cafe has been like crafted into it i just find that amazing so we're gonna grab a refreshing drink now maybe a coffee and just chill here we were meant to do a jeep tour today but the weather is just it's a bit too sandy we'll have sand blowing in our eyes and it just won't be a vibe so i think we're gonna do that tomorrow and we're just gonna hang out here today i cannot wait to show you the room it was too boiling when we got in there and i'll show you it when we get back there Thank you. We ordered you lemon and mint. Perfect. You know me, boo. Oh 
I need some sweetener. Lee, do you want to try it? I should try it. No, 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 I need sweetener. I don't understand if she's saying it's nice or not. Try it. But are you setting me up? She even from said the other side that of the there's two. I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> it took from the other side. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever had. Like, this is the most stuff. delicious thing I've ever had. These right here are the bubble tents that we are staying in. I think actually this, these four in front of us are R4. I don't know if you can see behind, but the sand is blowing so much. The wind has picked up a lot and there's like a bit of a sandstorm. <laughs> so we need to get inside because it's crazy out here, man. But this is where we're gonna be tonight. I'm in Panoramic 4. So let me show you around before the wind blows me over. Okay, right, so we've got a little fob. in this is what it looks like on the inside we've got a massive bed in here is bathroom which is crazy that this is all in the bubble because this is a pretty big size like it's bigger than a lot of hotel bathrooms oh got robes in here which is nice and like all the toiletries if i come around i'll show you the main feature of the room with this panoramic window you can pull the curtains all the way back oh got these like sheepskin robes so if you can see you get a view of the desert outside oh my gosh that is crazy this is probably one of the most unique places i've ever stayed like like looking out at this I'm like, am I on Mars? Is this the moon? Like, how is this Earth? This is crazy. It's so hot in here as well. Like when we came in, it was literally on fire <laughs> and we had to put the aircon on to the lowest setting to try and cool it down. Oh my days, there's even a chandelier in here. I'm like a little skylight up there. This is gonna be crazy at night. I hope we get some like clear skies. I mean, it's looking pretty blue to look up and see the stars up there that is unreal man and over here we've got coffee set up coffee and tea oh it's a proper nespresso machine yes oh i love that and this is obviously a huge bed i mean to be completely honest with you i don't do that well sleeping in the first in a new place by myself like i just I don't know as i'm getting older i just get a little bit freaked out and i know that that's weird like when i was younger i could literally fall asleep anywhere but as i'm getting older it's almost like i'm starting to realize things a little bit more and i'm just getting these like fears they're kind of irrational fears but also i guess kind of rational um so i don't know if i will have a good night's sleep by myself so i probably just will jump into one of the other girls pods tonight i mean i know they won't mind because i sleep lightly yeah this is by far one of the most amazing places that i have ever stayed in so if you're coming to jordan check this out now we're literally shooting on mars right now the light is chef's kiss get it 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 <laughs> A sunset people this is so nice the sky has just gone completely pink what a perfect way to end our first night here at Aisha memory camp this place is gorgeous I can't believe we all have our own little dome you can kind of see in there like Kelsey's got her curtain drawn that's well she's got it pulled back that's how it will look if you wanted to actually sleep under the stars and keep it open that's how it could look but obviously people can look in those good chats. Good morning, guys. Do you like my morning style? It's like 6.30. I don't even think I wrapped up the vlog properly yesterday. We had quite a busy day yesterday. Like, we didn't do much in terms of activities, but it felt like it was a long day. 
We had a nice dinner at the restaurant that's on site. It was like a buffet, but it was really good food. And then what did we do? Oh, we just came back, swapped over stuff onto each other's hard drives. We've learned from previous trips that we need to do it every day. Otherwise it becomes a mess at the end of the trip. We had like a bit of a hard drive party. <laughs> Me and Ash slept together last night. She came and slept in here, which was so much more comforting. We're in the middle of the desert, guys. Like, it's okay to... <laughs> it's okay to want a bit of company, you know? And we opened the blinds and slept with it open. So we actually slept under the stars. But yesterday, obviously, when the sun was up, it was boiling. As soon as the sun dips down, it gets really cold. And this morning I woke up, I was freezing. I just grabbed every piece of clothing that I could find. But today's plan is we're getting up basically for sunrise. We're going to try and find like a viewpoint. Take some photos and videos of the camp from above. Because we couldn't bring the drone in. You need specific permissions. Even though we're with the tourism board. You still need very specific permissions to come in. And we just didn't get, they weren't able to get the paperwork done in time. So unfortunately, we're not able to bring a drone in. So that's something worth noting if you're coming to Jordan. So we're going to go up to the viewpoint. We're going to get some photos and videos up there. And then we're leaving here. We're actually checking out of Aisha and going back over to Sun City, which is where we had lunch yesterday, um, to check in there. But before that, we're doing a Jeep tour, which is what we were supposed to do yesterday. We're going to be staying in another similar bubble tent tonight at Sun City. Um, but just a different vibe to this one so I'm excited to check in and see that anyway I'm rambling on now um, let me finish getting ready and then I will show you the view from above okay so literally five minutes ago you saw me in the bathroom and now I'm on top of a cliff <laughs> we have scaled up the side of the rock to get a better view of the camp our breath we were saying last night we need to do a workout this is what we're doing this is oh a little bit difficult because the the rocks are a bit slippy <sighs> this is the view we've got our sugar daddy coats on that came with the room this was so worth the climb we basically climbed up from there and then oh. climbed across <laughs> go it's, it's easy yeah, go over rather than under. Yeah, we just came up this rock and then walked around here. The rocks are a bit loose, but it's a pretty easy hike to be fair. Just make sure you wear trainers or teavers. <laughs> you can appreciate it a lot more from up here, I think. And you can see like that haze in the background, which is so nice. I love that soft light. We needed to get up here before the harsh sun set in, so we're gonna take some photos now, take some videos as well, and enjoy the view before we have to check out. Um, Here's a bit of BTS, Keelan on the count. <laughs> We've all made it down safe and sound. Just about, just yeah, about. just about. And now we're gonna go get some brekkie. What do you rum? I'm loving it, mate. Mate, I'm loving the jackets, mate. Yeah, we got our sugar daddy coats on. Yeah. Keeping us nice and cozy. So this is the restaurant where we had dinner yesterday and where we had the drinks and shisha. We're gonna go in there and have some brekkie now before checking out. Right, we've all had our headscarves tied, all got different ones on, we're just about to jump in the jeep. We're going on a three, four hour tour in the desert, we're going to go to some really cool parts of the landscape. There's like a specific bridge Kelsey really wants to go to, so I hope we get to go there. We're going to be off-road today in the jeep and heading to our next camp which is Sun City. We went there yesterday for lunch, but tonight we're going to be staying there. I'm so thirsty. Yeah, I'm thirsty as well. Look I might tie mine like colors. yours. I think mine looks a bit funny. A bit more like a bandana. Yeah. No, I think this is the real way to do it though. Yeah, but he said it's the scarf's wrong. It's probably going to fall off our yeah. heads. It's right, in we get. Yeah. These landscapes are unreal.
Run. Oh my gosh, she's actually gonna make it. Yeah. So we just hiked up this sand dune. That was really hard because it's like midday heat right now. It's boiling. But then we both ran down it. I literally thought that I was gonna face plant. Yes, can you, can you get this? What's happening? Kelsey, you're just like animal lover. Today has been so busy, but it's been so good. We had a Jeep tour earlier, which we took you on. That was about three or four hours long. And then we came back to this camp, which is Sun City. And we checked in to our new bubbles. These are the Martian tents. I'm going to give you a little room tour because this is such a vibe. This is so up my street really minimal aesthetics and you can see all the other domes out there and the landscape view from here is next level we've got the aircon on straight away because it is pretty boiling in here i really like these chairs and we've got some bean bags there i think i'm actually going to grab one and literally chuck it out there to sunbathe <laughs> i'll just show you the bathroom quickly it's pretty simple and they've given us all these amenities. So we've got a mini fridge, little tea and coffee station, and then cozy robes. And I'm sure I'll get into one of those later. I'm gonna unpack a few little things now, and then we really need to head back up there to get some Wi-Fi because we haven't had internet for 24 hours. Actually, let me talk to you about that. We obviously knew that maybe coming out into the desert we wouldn't get signal, but when we came into the Aisha luxury camp yesterday, I don't think we were prepared that as soon as we got there, we wouldn't have any internet for as long as we were there. So we didn't message anyone to be like, just let you know, like we're going off grid. We just kind of went off grid. <laughs> I managed to get signal when we got back on the Jeep tour today. So it was nearly 24 hours later um, and I had messages from Rich being like, are you okay? Like I've been checking the girls' Instagram stories to see if anyone's posting and I haven't seen anything. Um, and it's not really like him to get worried, but obviously we're in a different country and he's not hearing from me. Usually we talk a lot. So I think that was a bit scary for him. If you're coming to Jordan, if you uh, come out into Wadi Ram, you, you might not get internet. Uh, we've got a 3G signal here now um, and they've got Wi-Fi up at the restaurant. So we're gonna go and get a few bits done. Yeah, it was actually quite nice. Like last night, obviously none of us had our phones. So we just had some really good convos, um, a nice dinner and then stayed up offloading our laptops, all our memory cards and things like that. Um, but today we'll probably do something similar. I think tonight we're not going anywhere else. So now that we're checked in, I think we're going to chill for a few hours, which is really needed to be honest, because we're a bit tired. We had an early start with the sunrise and stuff. Let's chill and then I'll show you if we get up to anything. I haven't really told you what we've been up to the last few hours, but you know yesterday I said that we've been doing laptop parties. This is what it currently looks like. We are in the little coffee shop area um, part of the camp and it's sick in here because they've got plugs and Wi-Fi so we can get some stuff done. And we're just about to go for dinner in that bubble, which is where we had lunch earlier. And they've got a fire outside. I think they might do something a little bit later. But for now, we got to transfer some files. Another day, another rock. <laughs> now we're hiking first thing in the morning. We're all tired AF. Kelsey didn't sleep because of the dogs. Me and Ash slept together, but it was still very creepy. I but think, I think I slept better than yesterday. Yeah, I slept better than yesterday. Yeah. But we're back on another Shit. Mars planet. And we've come to shoot. Sun City from above because it looks pretty cool from up here and we've got another hazy morning so that's what we're up to right now and this is <laughs> this is the camp that's my pod over there which I didn't sleep in and this is Ashley's so we've all got our own little pod gang, gang, gang. Right guys, so I think I'm gonna cut this vlog here because we have checked out and we are making our way to Petra now But this is gonna be way too long if I keep going so I am going to start the next vlog um, On the way to Petra, but thank you for watching this and if you like this Please hit the like button because that helps the channel and click 
like and subscribe as well if you fancy it. And I will see you in the next vlog. <laughs> She's actually a babe. What's happening? <laughs>